The United Kingdom is set to hold national elections on Thursday. Rishi Sunak has served as the leader of the party and prime minister since 2022 following the abrupt departure, remember, of Liz Truss the same year. But in the last election, just to give you a background, Conservative Party gained 48 seats, Labour Party lost 60. Between them, there were about 76% of the UK vote. Which way will the votes go this time? Sunak is pitted against Labour Party leader Keir Starmer and opinion polls have suggested that Starmer has a stronger edge this election. Some of the big issues that uh, has affected people of the UK is uh, immigration, cost of living which has gone very high across the UK, a slower economy comparatively and a national health service overhaul. Now is the moment for Britain to choose its future, to decide whether we want to build on the progress that we have made or risk going back to square one with no plan and no certainty. There are a few hundred that would go on a flight to Rwanda at huge expect, uh, expense to the taxpayer. There are tens of thousands, 50,000 people have come since Rishi Sunak has been Prime Minister, 50,000 across the channel. A few hundred going every year means there's a 99% chance you're not going to Rwanda. Now, I've worked with criminal gangs, Rishi Sunak. I know that they are telling the people they're exploiting there's a 99% chance of not going to Rwanda. That is not a disincentive. That is not a deterrent, and it's not working. There's nothing wrong with that, and I just want to address Beverly's well, point. You, you opposed there's, it when well, I announced it. I, I'm, if, I'm you, you literally to, opposed I'm, it. I'm, if you listen to people in the audience across the country more often, you might not be quite so out of touch. Jay Swami Naraya. This temple, a beacon of care and compassion in the community, treating people, no matter what their background or belief, with dignity. A Labour government would work with you to support your work and stand behind your community. We will work for you to make sure that in everything we do, our shared values of compassion, dignity and aspiration for every person in this country, together we will build a better, brighter future for all.